Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in this last video about Donald Miller's new book, Scary Close, which I love. Uh, first video I just talked about um, just some experiences I had around reading his book and meeting him personally and just how your, his voice resonated with me, and what I was going through and how um, it, it was really helpful to see him kind of peel the mask off and talk about how the Don today is very different from the Don then, which to me says all about who we are as people. We're, we are on a, excuse me, we're on a journey. We're either growing or we're regressing. There's not this like static state. And then we talked about family of origin issues, especially around anxiety and how we're shaped by those things. And then second, talked about getting into our truths and really living out of who God created us to be and how that makes all the difference in our relationships. And then last, which I think is really big, Don kind of ends talking a lot about essentially kind of creating a vision for your marriage. And he says something I think very helpful here on page 198. 199, and he says, um, I would never walk into my office without a plan. As a leader of my company, my guys depend on me to know where we are going and how important they are to the journey. I can't believe I almost went into my marriage, which is infinitely more important than my business without a plan. I can't believe I went, in, can't believe I went into my marriage, which is infinitely more important than my business without a plan. And I think so many people go into marriage without really being intentional or thinking about their marriage, what they want it to look like. Um, I work with a lot of couples who will come work with me before they get married and do some work before then, but very few couples actually do any work. So is any surprise that, that we end up in these destructive patterns of behavior when we don't actually do the work or plan for our marriage? Um, couples spend way more time planning the marriage ceremony, right, than they ever plan about their marriage. And so I love this idea of creating a vision. And Don doesn't talk a lot about necessarily the X's and O's of that, but it's something that's important to me. I know something that my wife and I did several years ago. It was recommended by my friend Todd Sandell, who's a marriage therapist in Atlanta. He, he talked about this book by Patrick, Patrick Lencioni called The Three Big Questions for a Fran Frantic Family. And in that book, Patrick kind of lays out how to create a, a vision statement for your family based on your core values and who you are and then to create a rallying cry, like a central goal that you're going to rally around for a period of time, and then to talk about it, to have a, a, like a weekly meeting. So my wife and I sat down over a period of days, and we created a family vision statement for our family, essentially for our marriage. And we, we put that all over the house, and my wife uh, made this beautiful sign and painted it. It's above our fireplace, and it has some of our core values. And then we focused on some specific goals. And so we had this kind of anchor in a path, if you will, the guide kind of, we anchored, you know, based on our core values, then we out from there, from that anchor, we kind of drew a, a path or a vision for our marriage, where we wanted to go, and what we wanted to accomplish together. And that's made all the difference in the world. And, and a lot of couples don't do that. They don't think about their marriage. They don't think about where they want to be or who they want to be. And I said in the last video, or in the beginning of this video, is that we're either growing or we're regressing. There's not this like autopilot marriage where you just kind of stick on autopilot and just, it just stays as is, right? Um, that doesn't mean you constantly have to every day, every hour, every interaction work on your marriage and say, I gotta be do this and do this and do this. But there has to be some kind of rhythm of being intentional in your marriage and talking about where you want to go and who you are. And, and that this vision for your marriage, I think, caps a nice kind of flow in Don's book is that essentially he starts off identifying and owning where you're getting stuck in life and, that, and taking responsibility for that. And then moving into identifying your truth and who you are and taking responsibility for that. And it's only when we as individuals own our own stuff, our own junk, and we, we are able to like work out of our truth and who God's created us to be, that then we can come together and have healthy relationships. And out of a healthy relationship, we can have the energy and the time and the space and the freedom to create a vision for who we want to be or for what, what the relationship that God desires us to have and where we're going. And, um, you know, relationships are hard. Marriages are hard. Um, no, no marriage is perfect. There's going to be conflict all the time at different times for various reasons. Not all the time, maybe. But we're always going to have conflict at various points in our lives in a marriage. And the goal is to keep working on it, keep working on it, and staying anchored to who we are and the truth and living out of that place. And I find that when couples have a vision for their marriage, they have a, a centering point, an anchoring point to focus on and say, this is who we are. Let's, let's get back to that. It's a guide, if you will. And so, again, I really love Dawn's book. It just kind of mirrored a lot of the work I do with couples, like bringing them in and really, or an individual even, and helping them identify where they're getting stuck in life, that pain cycle in the words of Terry Hargrave. And then, 
helping them work through those things and then getting into their peace cycle in the words of Terry Hargrave and working out of their truth. And then as we do that, where, do, where are we gonna go? Helping them create a vision for their life or for their marriage. So it's a great book, um, one that I'll continue to pass out to people in my office and um, happily share. All right, thanks guys for joining me about uh, Scary Close and I hope you find it really helpful for your own life and your own marriage. Have a good day.